Canada has built a reputation for itself as a nation of moose, bacon, maple syrup, and of course, friendly hockey loving people. Its name, however, has roots in the indigenous people of the land. This etymological story begins with French explorer Jacques Cartier, who was traversing the land in 1535. It was Jacques who went on to claim the land for the French. During his explorations, he came across two young indigenous men of the land. These young men told Jacques of somewhere called Kanata, which at this time didn't mean the land as a whole, but rather just just the village that lay north of where modern Quebec is, Stadacona, as Kanata is thought to have meant just village in the Huron Iroquois language the natives spoke. Nevertheless, it was this name that Jacques used to refer to the village he ended up in, as well as the area around it, with Kanata over time becoming Canada. More and more of the area became known as Canada. Maps from this time even show St. Lawrence River being called Rivière du Canada. The parts of modern day Canada and modern day USA that were controlled by the French eventually became New France by 1616, yet the area in New France that lay between the Great River of Canada and the Gulf of St. Lawrence was still being called Canada. The name became even more official in 1791 when the province of Quebec was split into two colonies of Upper and Lower Canada, yet by 1841 they were once again reunited under the name Province of Canada. Yet when it came time for Canada to become its own independent confederation in the 17th century, a name had to be decided upon for the land north of the US border. Many were thrown into the mix, such as Toponia, Norland and Hoshlaga, and even Britannia. One of particular interest is Ephisga, which might seem like an incoherent mess of letters, but is actually a combination of the first letters of the people with settlements in the land. The English, French, Irish, Scottish, Germans, and of course Aboriginals. But like I said, the name is an absolute mess, so it didn't stick. It was a man by the name of Thomas Darcy McGee, seriously, like what an amazing name, who fought for the already established name of Canada to be the name for the entire country. As at the time, it was just the name of one of the provinces. He asked the question of how others would feel if they woke up some fine morning and found himself instead of a Canadian, a Toponian or Hoshlangander. With this new perspective on July 1st, 1867, the province of Canada, Nova Scotia and New Brunswick became the single nation of Canada. The country of Canada was suggested by Stephen Lapointe and Christopher Perez over on Patreon and thanks to their suggestion they will now be honoured as Name Explains Patron Saint of Canada. If you want to become a Name Explained Patron Saint then why not support the channel over on Patreon from a dollar and up and suggest a country for the next Patron Saint video. And of course, thank you to all my patrons. These extra Tuesday videos wouldn't exist without the support of you guys. So if you enjoyed these videos, then why not support the channel? Just $2 a month gets your name here with all these incredible people. Thank you.